हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेक्शन वी लर्न अबाउट सीपीयू शेड्यूलिंग सीपीयू शेड्यूलिंग इज अ फंडामेंटल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फंक्शंस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कंप्यूटर रिसोर्सेज आर शेड्यूल्ड बिफोर यूज द सीपीयू इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द प्राइमरी रिसोर्स सो सीपीयू इज आल्सो शेड्यूल्ड बिफोर यूज द सीपीयू शेड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम्स डिटरमाइंस हाउ द सीपीयू विल बी एलोकेटेड टू द प्रोसेस The CPU scheduling algorithms are of two types that is non primitive scheduling algorithms and second one is primitive scheduling algorithms so first see non primitive scheduling algorithms in the non scheduling primitive scheduling algorithms once the cpu is assigned to a process the processor do not release until the completion of the process the cpu will assign to some other job only after the previous job has finished so this is a non primitive scheduling algorithms and second one is primitive scheduling algorithms in which the cpu can release the process even in the middle of the executions so these are the two types of scheduling algorithms so we see the next is the scheduler in operating system there are different types of schedulers but three main types of schedulers these are long term scheduler short term scheduler and medium term schedulers so first see long term scheduler the function of the long term scheduler is select the job from the batch job and loaded jobs into the main memory of the computer so the long term scheduler is also called the job scheduler short term scheduler the function of short term scheduler is select a job from the ready queue and gives the control of the cpu to that process with the help of dispatcher that's why the short term scheduler is also called to be cpu scheduler the method of selecting a process from the ready queue is depending on the cpu scheduling algorithms so we see the next that is a medium term scheduler if a process request an io in the middle of the execution then the process remove from the main memory and loaded into the waiting queue and loaded into the waiting queue when the io operation is completed then the job move from the waiting queue to the ready queue these two operations these two operation are performed by the medium term scheduler these are the three schedulers long term scheduler short term scheduler and medium term scheduler in the diagram the short term schedulers place here between the batch jobs and ready queue when jobs are loaded into the ready queue the long term scheduler is used for transfer the job from the batch job to the ready queue this is a long term scheduler because when ready queue is full then it's idle so short term scheduler is used for transfer the process from ready queue into the cpu so dispatcher is program is used for transferring process from ready queue to the cpu and when cpu is completed the execution of process the in process is terminated but when process it request for io devices and at that time io devices are not available then process is transferred to the io waiting queue by using the medium term scheduler this is the first job of medium term scheduler and second job is when io devices is available then that process is transferred from the io waiting queue to the ready queue by using the medium term scheduler these are the three schedulers are used in the operating system then next criteria for scheduling the particular criteria is used for selecting the cpu scheduling algorithms so different cpu scheduling algorithms have the different properties and in choosing which algorithm is used in a particular situations we must consider the properties of the various algorithms which are given below that is first is the cpu utilizations keep the cpu as busy as possible 
and it's range from 0 to 100 percentage then second is a throughput throughput means how many jobs are completed by the cpu within a given time periods then turn around times the time interval between the submission of process and the time completion is the turn around times then waiting time waiting time is the sum of the time periods spent in the waiting in the ready queue response time response time is the time duration between the submission and first response from the cpu these are the criteria or various properties of the algorithms which is check when the choose the particular algorithms in a particular situations and in next section we see the cpu scheduling algorithms thank you and subscribe our channel logic computer institute for more videos